The Exceptions, Nancy Hopkins, MIT, and the Fight for Women in Science, by Kate Zernica, is an interesting and well-researched book about how 16 women scientists fought against institutional sexism at one of the most prestigious colleges in the world. The book is about the life and work of Nancy Hopkins, a molecular biologist and cancer researcher who led a group that did a four-year study that showed how women faculty at MIT were treated unfairly and with bias. The book also talks about the historical and cultural background of women in science, from the pioneering work of Rosalind Franklin, who didn't get credit for discovering the structure of DNA, to the affirmative action policies of the 1970s, which gave women scientists new opportunities but also made them face new challenges and meet new expectations. Zernica, a Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter who broke the story for the Boston Globe in 1999, uses extensive interviews, papers, and archival sources to tell a gripping and inspiring story of courage, perseverance, and unity. She shows Hopkins as a reluctant feminist who at first thought that science was a meritocracy and that her work would speak for itself. But after years of subtle and overt discrimination, such as being denied lab space, resources, recognition, and promotions, she decided to take action. She got her co-workers to write down and figure out how much the unfair treatment hurt them. The book also talks about the different thoughts and experiences of the other women scientists who helped Hopkins in her fight for justice. It also talks about how the male teachers and administrators at MIT reacted and what they said. The book is not only a biography of Hopkins and a history of the MIT case, but it also talks about the bigger problems and hurdles that women in science still face today. Zernica looks at things like stereotypes, biases, harassment, isolation, work-life balance, mentoring, and leadership that make it hard for women to get into and stay in STEM areas. She also talks about how the MIT case has affected and could affect other schools and fields that have followed its lead and started their own studies and reforms to address gender differences. The book shows how important it is for women to speak up and work together to move science and society forward. The Exceptions is an interesting and informative book that tells the story of a major case that changed the way women were treated in science in a nuanced and fair way. It is a must-read for anyone interested in the history, sociology, and politics of science, as well as for aspiring and present women scientists who want to learn from the experiences and ideas of their predecessors and peers.